Einstein Search is now available to all Salesforce customers. And you might have already seen the word Einstein in your own Salesforce environment. That's because there are a bunch of different areas where Einstein can be used. But in this video, we're going to be focusing specifically on Einstein Search. Given the fact you're here, you're probably thinking, what even is Einstein Search and how do I switch it on? Well, in short, Einstein Search improves upon the standard Salesforce search functionality to make people more efficient and effective. In fact, Salesforce themselves claim that using Einstein Search results in 50% fewer clicks and page loads for the most common tasks in Salesforce. This includes things like updating opportunities and recording activities. I'm sure you'll agree, these sound like benefits worth having. So let's take a look at how it works. Einstein Search is split into three key areas. The first is personalized results. Now, what does that exactly mean? In this simple example, I'm searching for Alan. Now, I only own one lead in the search result, and you can see this lead appears at the top of the list. That's because the search result is tailored to be relevant to me. Let's take a look at the same search query and results in a non-Einstein search. Using the standard Salesforce search functionality, you can see that Alan Roberts has appeared as the second result in the list of leads. Here's another example. Let's say you have users in the US and UK. You've also got multiple accounts with the same name. Einstein search automatically tailors the search results. For example, US users will see US-based accounts first, whilst UK users will see UK-based accounts first. You can see that despite the fact that I own all of these Acme accounts, both UK and USA, it's recommending the UK account to me first. That's because I work on these companies and prospects most often. So that's the first key area. Now let's talk about the second, natural language. Natural language means you can search using phrases that you would normally speak. In this example here, I'm searching for all leads USA. And here's another example. This time I'm searching for all leads in New York. This type of query would return no results in the traditional Salesforce global search. Natural language search reduces the need for salespeople and administrators to create multiple predefined list views. In other words, it means salespeople have a more dynamic and flexible way of finding the critical records they need to access. So that's the second area. The third thing that Einstein Search does for users is provide more actionable search results. Well, what do I mean by an actionable result? The search results provided by Einstein Search allow salespeople to get straight into their opportunities and other areas without having to leave the search bar. And in my opinion, this feature is the most significant benefit of Einstein Search for salespeople. To do this, hover over any search result and here's what you'll see. Now, salespeople can directly edit the record or they can immediately update one of the related records. This can definitely save a lot of time in the long run. Now, as I mentioned at the start, Einstein Search is completely free for all Salesforce customers, so there's no real reason not to activate it. In the unlikely event that salespeople aren't happy, you can always disable it. And with that being said, let's take a look at how to enable Einstein Search. Firstly, Click the cog icon in the top right hand corner of the page and go to setup. Type Einstein search in the setup menu search bar on the left hand side and click enable Einstein search. Click the checkbox to enable Einstein search personalization and then hit save. Now let's go back to the setup search bar and type permission sets. Click on permission sets and hit new. We need to create an Einstein search permission set and then attach the relevant license. Once you've created the permission set, go to System Permissions, and you'll see that there are three different permissions on the permission license. Einstein Search, Instant Actionable Results, and Natural Language Search. Enable each of these, and then hit Save. Once you've clicked Save, your permission set changes should look like this. Double check that before moving on. Once you're back on the permission set, we need to decide who's actually going to be using Einstein Search. To do that, click Manage Assignments, then click Add Assignments, and assign the permission set to all users in your system that will be using Einstein Search. 
And that's it. Once you've done that, Einstein search should be running within your Salesforce environment. Sometimes, even if you've done everything correctly, you might still see this message. Not to worry, hit refresh, and it should disappear. So, that's Einstein's search. Go ahead and enable it in your company today. And of course, if you have questions on search or any other Einstein products, do get in touch with us. The details are on the screen now.